Please join me in praying the collect for mission. Gracious and loving God, help us this day to understand your dream of the world, to be transformed in Jesus' love, and use our gifts to make a difference in our lives. It sounds 
pretty similar to Jesus' words in our gospel passage. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Jesus was formed in the faith of ancient Judaism. He really stands on the shoulders of Abraham's relationship with God. And Jesus' life itself and his teaching reveals the way to a new intimacy with God through Jesus. Jesus invites his disciples and he invites us into our own faith journeys. Like Abraham's journey, it's a long game. It's not a one and done. And it may not make much sense along the way sometimes. Jesus invites us to use him as the gateway to a kind of more intimate relationship with God that can reveal the kingdom around us. He invites us into that journey with the same words that God used with Abram. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to be different, to look at life through the lens of faith. I think he's talking directly to people like us, myself included. Our affluence can become our identity rather than our identity as people of faith. Jesus invites us into a relationship that transcends that. He invites us to focus on our identity in Christ, to invest in unfeeling treasure in heaven, which may mean a lot of things to different people. Perhaps sharing our wealth with the poor, supporting causes that reflect the justice that Jesus preaches about, using our influence to heal the hurting heart of the world, living with an awareness that we have and are enough, turning ourselves towards something larger. Speaking of something larger, you may have seen those amazing photographs recently sent back by the new James Webb Space Telescope. They are visually stunning and on an unimaginable scale. There was something on my, when I was on my screen that said download this picture. I thought, I am not downloading that picture. It's way too huge. They are truly awesome. Living among the bright lights of the Bay Area and under our foggy skies, the night sky, I think, has receded from our daily lives. These photos remind me of God's words to Abram to count the stars. And where I live in Alameda, I can probably count about three stars this summer because we get a lot of fog. But at various times in my life, looking up at the stars and remembering that people throughout history have seen those same constellations, including Abraham and Jesus, has reassured me along my faith journey. Sleeping outside in the backyard as a kid on a warm night, I would wake up and see that the stars had shifted in the night sky, proof that the earth beneath me was turning towards morning. The Webb Telescope photos show us a sheer beauty that makes us aware of the vast universe beyond ourselves. Gazing on these images, I find a link from my humanity to something beyond, to the eternal, and how creation is related to the eternal. Because we are made of the same ingredients as the stars, the same as that unfailing treasure of creation. In our reading from Hebrews, we heard this beautiful passage, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. 
Indeed, by faith, our ancestors received approval. By faith, we understand the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. I think Christ invites us into our journey of faith that goes out beyond what is visible, that connects us, like Abraham, with creation, the unity of heaven and earth, with Christ, through whom all things were made, from the heart of love. Amen.